Hello students, uh, my name is Santosh Kumar and I am the course instructor for Machining Sciences and Tool Design. We are discussing module number 2 that is temperatures in metal cutting and cutting fluids. So in this video we will discuss about uh, measurement of cutting temperature using a direct thermocouple measurement. So this setup is uh, very similar to the work tool thermocouple measurement uh, method which we have discussed in uh, other video. So what is the change point is uh, here we are not connecting it uh, thermocouple to the uh, cutting tool. So what we are doing is we are connecting this uh, junction to the constant in wires. So where the conduction is happening from uh, uh, from the workpiece which is rotating. So first uh, in this setup uh, we are doing the measurement uh, without the workpiece that is cutting tool cutting the workpiece. So we are noting down the, noting down the what is the uh, reading in the millivolt meter. So then subsequently uh, we are uh, doing it with the cutting that is when the cutting tool is uh, removing the material from the workpiece. Uh, then we are noting down the reading then we are subtracting the reading of the initial reading that is without uh, workpiece cutting tool is in contact with the workpiece and with the cutting tool uh, doing the cutting action. So both these uh, readings are subtracted and then trying to find out what is the temperature at the when the work is in progress. So with this method temperatures at selected points and around the end phase of the tubular brace are measured that is uh, you can change the position of this uh, constant in wires along the uh, tubular cross section. So you can find out what is the temperature at any point using this method. So that is used to calculate the proportion of the shear zone heat conducted into the workpiece. Next uh, we have a direct measurement uh, can be made by making a hole in the tool. So if you want to measure the what is the work temperature at the rake phase at any point. So we can use this method. So where direct measurement can be made by making a hole uh, in the cutting tools as you can see there is a hole uh, which is made uh, close to the cutting edge and uh, inserting a thermocouple uh, to measure the temperature at a particular position. So then uh, this can be repeated with the holes in various position. You can change the hole position and uh, you can get the temperature at any uh, point. So thereby you can plot the uh, temperature distribution across the uh, cutting edge. So the significant errors may occur where the temperature gradients are steep uh, as the holes for the thermocouples may cover a considerable range of temperature. So this is uh, by using a direct thermocouple method. 